I'm Stefan Lemaire. I'm a constable with the K-Division Tactical Training Section as part of the K-Division Training Section as a whole. I've been a member for six years. Prior to being a member of the RCMP, I was a member of the OPP as a Special Constable. The reasons for it were always, you know, I want to have a lifestyle that has excitement. I want to do a job that leaves me thinking that I've, you know, or feeling like I've done something productive and you know, allow me to serve the country and serve communities within it, right? My dad was a regular member and my mom was a civilian member. So the path was kind of already paved, but even from a young age, before you kind of know anything about life, I already had this idea that I was gonna be a police officer. So it wasn't something that I had to think long and hard about. It was kind of just the expectation. Every job I did before that was just in the goal of becoming a police officer. I truly enjoyed Depot. Um, Depot is a place where 32 people show up as part of a troop that don't know each other from everywhere in the country, from all different backgrounds, and you're going to be essentially a family for six months, right? So you're going to develop really close bonds to people because, you know, you eat together, you sleep in the same dorm. Your entire workday is with those people. It brings you into the RCMP in a way that develops the camaraderie early on, and it brings you into that culture so that when you leave, you know, you're the new guy, but this is kind of like you're, you're showing up to an, another bunch that have gone through the same thing that you went through, right? So it creates a bond across the RCMP. So when I showed up to my first attachment, I knew that everybody there had gone through depot as well, and that made it easy for me when I arrived to, you know, hey, I'm the new guy. I think it's simple. We look at a lot of the criticism that surrounds policing, right? And it generally goes towards the use of force, right? And how people use force. And the members that are the best at not using too much force are members that are well-trained and confident, right? It's, uh, it's the same concept as if you go to like a jujitsu gym and you fight with a black belt, he's probably not gonna hurt you because he knows what he's doing, he's comfortable. Same thing in policing, where a member that is well-trained and is confident will generally have a cooler head and be able to make a better decision on what he's supposed to do because he doesn't have that aspect of, you know, heart thumping, I'm not confident, I don't know what to do, now I'm, I have a fear response to this as opposed to a thought out response. So when we have members coming to our training facility, a lot of it will be from anything hand to hand where they have to gain control of people, de-escalation, communication, all the way up to force on force training using sim munition to induce stress on members and have them react while they're under a stress situation, their heart rate's a little bit higher and that way it really gives them a good idea of how they're gonna react in stressful situations and we can develop our training according to that. And I guess the final thing when it comes to our unit would be development of material. So development of training material, kind of doing research into you know, what works, what doesn't work, keeping statistics on how members react to certain situations, what their natural inclinations are, and that way we can provide that information to other training sections within the country and we can kind of get together and, and develop materials to make our members better at the end of the day. I always had this idea that if ever I had to use my firearm, I really don't want to be the person who's going to miss what I need to be shooting at, right? And if somebody expects me to be hitting something, there's a real reason for that, right? It's a life or death situation. So for me, missing wasn't really an option in my mind. So I just decided that I was gonna take that upon myself and really put in a lot of hours of my own time to develop myself. And then as I was doing that, I started enjoying it more and more because I was getting better at it. And eventually I just, uh, I got asked if I would be interested in being an instructor. And I hadn't really thought about it all that much as a, as a career choice and wasn't, because it's not something that you see very often. And that put the bug in my ear and it started becoming an interest of mine. And then once I got my first course, which was the basic firearm instructor course, after that, I kind of got hooked on it. I, I really enjoyed having members come in, being able to help them develop, 
seeing an increase in their capabilities and then seeing their confidence rise. Walking out with the attitude that I'm actually good at this now, right? I'm confident at this. I can go out into the field and I feel safe and I think that I can keep people safe now because I'm good at this. I think that would be the main thing for me.